We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. So, uh, since a lot of stars are getting into it, will you ever do a superhero film? Ever? I did one. Which one? What the, not the cartoon. I mean, not I did, uh, um, oh, what's, oh, shit. What's it called? <laughs> wait, wait. Um, Ryan Reynolds. What's, what's called? Uh, Deadpool? Dead, thank you. Uh, but no, oh, but, the uh, jet lag. But Just jet lag, I promise you. <laughs> but a movie that actually stars you as uh, um, Yeah, I know. I've seen three seconds of mm. Deadpool 2. Okay. As a superhero. As the Vanisher. Oh, okay. I think okay. it was the Vanisher. Right. It's, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. But um, will I ever? Um, I don't think so. I think there's enough. Enough. I enjoy them. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I have anything to add. Mm. To so that world. Yes, yes. Okay, so... Um, Wait, you, want, you know who's, who's um, um, great at it is uh, Hemsworth. So, um, Brad, I've seen your interview, I've, I've read your interview, and you said that in some ways you are copying your dad. So what is the lesson, the best lesson that you learned from your father? The very best lesson, mm -hmm. the one I remember all the, all the time? Mm -hmm. um, one time I was having a terrible experience in a sporting event. Mm -hmm. And he came down off the bench, he pulled me to the side, and he said, are you having fun? Mm -hmm. And I said, no. And he said, then don't do it. Oh, if you're not having fun, don't yeah. do it. Yeah, what he meant was, if you can't find a way to enjoy it, mm -hmm. that's gonna cause you that much stress. Mm -hmm. um, don't do it until you can find a way. That's a good lesson yeah. to learn, actually. Yeah. So, um, every single one of us in this planet has an issue. How would you answer Roy's question of um, why go on, why keep trying? Um, yes, the old existential question of, of um, why. Um, yeah, because when I saw it, it hit me, and I'm sure it hit everybody else, because we do ask the same questions too. Yeah, yeah, why keep struggling? Mm -hmm. Why, what's it about? Um, because I think you know, there was a lovely line in, in Seven, mm -hmm. an early film I did with David Fincher, mm -hmm. and Morgan Freeman says um, something at the end about the world is worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it comes down to it's only through hardship we grow. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, own, it's, it's our, our love and our connections mm -hmm. that are are worth everything mm -hmm. and that they're worth fighting for. They do, they are worth fighting for. So my last question is, because James Gray said that you don't want to be the center of attention. It's as if you want to be invisible. But so if you do have, if you by some miracle become invisible, what would you do for that day of invisibility? Who would you see? What would you do? If I could be invisible? Yes, if you could be I'd invisible. Just walk down the I would just walk down the street. Which street? I would street? just walk down the street, any street. I would walk down the street. Get a coffee, walk in the shops. I would just walk around free. Enjoy anonymity. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's so weird people are asking me, um, how does Brad smell? I don't know. So I'm gonna ask about How do I stuff. smell? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. okay, do you guys want me to sit? Can you sit? How do I smell? Oh my god. <laughs> clean? Very, very clean. clean. Okay. So many films. This movie has a lot of quotable quotes, but I'm wondering what from all the movies that you've done in your career, what is the most often quoted to you? To me? Mm -hmm. The most often quoted is either what's in the box mm -hmm. or <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> or uh, don't condescend me. Don't condescend me. Really? Man. I was yeah. I was from true romance. I thought it was gonna be like Fight Club. The first rule of fighting. Oh, yeah, that's probably oh. third. Yeah. Do you mind saying it again? Yes, I do. No. <laughs> <laughs>